Hey everybody. So as I was making some of these videos about Super Slicer, I realized that as I was actually going to update my version of Super Slicer to the newer version uh, where there are some bug fixes, I realized that it's not exactly clear how to actually get, download, and install Super Slicer. So uh, because it's, it's, it's just not as straightforward as everything else, right? So I wanted to provide a little video uh, on, on how to do that. Um, if you're asking what is Super Slicer, uh, it's basically a fork um, or, or kind of like a, a say if like Prusa Slicer is a tree, <laughs> oh, one trunk tree <laughs> and or one branch tree, I don't know. Like it's basically taking Prusa Slicer and being like, uh, how about actually let's do this. If you think of like, you know, uh, into the Spider-Verse or the, the Multiverse or something, it's like a, another version of the same thing, but kind of branching off, doing some other things. It's basically Prusa Slicer, but with just a ton more options and settings. And it's, it's why I like to use it is because there's just so much more available to me, especially in the settings department. Um, so that's that's why I use it. So, um, but where to get it? So let's head over here. So this is Prusa Slicer, just real quick. I'm just gonna click on the print settings. Like this is these are the options available. And as you go through, you see there are some options available. In Super Slicer, you click print sliding settings, and like there's a lot more options available. <laughs> I really like that. So that's why I use it. Um, but when you Google Super Slicer, the first link you get is this GitHub link. And GitHub is basically a place for developers to store their code, right? And, and help um, distribute it and, and keep track of it, do versioning, version history, um, and you know, do have issues you know, linked to it, that sort of thing. But this is where you go to get it as well. You can read about it here as well. Um, definitely a good thing to do just to inform yourself of what it is. But to get the actual download, you click over here is this releases section, right? And it's going to show the um, latest version up at the top. So, and you can you can scroll down and see you know which which version is which. And one thing to look at is this little tag right here. This is pre-release, meaning that it's not actually like fully released yet. It's what you might call a beta, uh, where they're, you know, they, they released it, they do have it out there, but it might have a few bugs and might not be ready for general consumption, I guess. So you can actually keep scrolling down. And if you find this latest release, that's probably the version that you want um, because that means that they've, they've handled most of the bugs here. And I, I just clicked that and that's why it opened this here. Um, and what that actually did is like, so you, if you scroll here, you see like there are these assets, that's actually where the download files are. You can click this too and it'll get you that same thing. I'll kind of spread out or uh, expand it out. And depending on your um, OS, if you're on a Mac, you want this one. If you're on Windows, you want this one. If you're on Linux, obviously, you know, Ubuntu. <laughs> I'm not on those, okay, I'm on Windows. So I'm gonna download this one um, and it's gonna download in this zip file on my machine. So the next piece is how do I actually install it? Because if you open this up, and let's get this over here. If you open this up, uh, I guess you can extract it. And I'm gonna do that. There it is. It's going kind of. It's going a lot slower on the video than it did, you know, when I just did this. But there it is. Okay. So normally, when you download something, there's like a setup.exe or something like that on Windows, right? Or even on, on a Mac, you either get a DMG file, which is basically, you can launch the program from there. That's your, that's your, that's your uh, program. Or, um, you know, on Windows, there's just something to install it. But um, there's not here. There's nothing to install. It's already downloaded and, and extracted and everything you need is right here, right? There's some other things that go into your, um, your uh, God, what is it called? Like your, I don't know. It's, it's, uh, geez, I know I'm in IT, but I can't think of the word right now. It's under C users, your user account. 
uh, local or local low or roaming. It's the, I don't know, cash or your, your like system settings, your personal settings. I don't remember what it's called. Um, but you can actually click and launch it right from here. So if I double click this, it's going to come up with something. It's either going to launch or it's going to do this depending on your, your, your setting, your, you know, if you have antivirus or whatever, I have Microsoft Defender running. So I can actually click don't run and it won't run this, but I want to run it. So I click run anyway. And the reason it's doing that is because it's just something I downloaded from the internet and, and didn't install or anything. So um, it's, it's protecting my machine, of course, but I can click that run anyway. And there it is. Since it's already running, you know, it's, it's there. Um, oh, I guess it's going to come up again. It is there. There we go. So um, what I guess to know about this, what you need to know is like this came, you know, just downloaded and extracted in my downloads folder. If you want to keep it there, that's fine. Um, what I generally do though is copy this file and move it out and I install it in C program files. Um, I just, I just honestly, I just right click, I copy and then I paste it in there and I add a little, you know, I, I pin it to my taskbar, you know, when I have it open that way it stays there. And that's how you download it. If you want to um, install a newer version, then you would go out here, you'd find the latest release, you know, or, or if you wanted a pre-release version, you could get that, download it. And then what you do, I basically just delete this folder out of my program files directory and put the new one in and there's my new version. So that's how you install and run um, or download and install and run Super Slicer. Uh, definitely leave any questions in the comments, anything I missed. If you have the word for what I was looking for, please do add it there because I'm still just blank on it. Um, and thanks for watching. And if your wife would make fun of you for, you know, seeing you do this, then you should probably subscribe. And, you know, Facebook it, Twitter it, tweet it. You know, all that cool stuff, right? So if it's dark and it's night, then you'll want to check out this sort of stuff again, right? Oh, hey. Thanks for watching.